What do you do after coming off a season shooting the 200 inch deer of your lifetime? Well, that's easy. Get back to work, back in the field, and find an even bigger one. a big deer, a true giant. Deer hunting is different for everyone. We all have our reasons why, why we get up and head out. For some it's a tradition, for some a hobby, a pastime, or a lifestyle, maybe an obsession, or just to be outdoors enjoying nature. And for many, it's generational. For us, it's a love of deer, watching them, historians curating the lives of giants, and the challenge of perfecting a craft. Regardless of the why, we all share one thing. We all hit in with a common hope, a common dream, that all of our reasons why, everything that we've done in the deer woods to this point, may put us in the path of a legend. giant. Stealth Cam presents Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail, brought to you by Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable, Monster Meal, attraction, nutrition, results, Excalibur Crossbow, different for a reason, Heater Body Suit, number one in cold weather hunting gear, new archery products, hunt with confidence, Bog, engineered for the unknown. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. Glendale 3D targets, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the world. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy and let it glow. Hunter specialties, serious hunting tools. Boyd's hardwood gun stocks, better with Boyd's. Raculator. Score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Old-timer knives, built for generations. And by Stealth Cam. Proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. When we're in the woods, we all dream. We all dream of taking that once-in-a-lifetime giant. And Ryan on a freight truck is no different. And with a wall of tremendous deer, Ryan was still looking for that one incredible buck. A deer to break the 200-inch mark. And last season, he found it. After taking a deer like that, people often think it must be hard to hunt anything else. I can attest that that's not true. Taking a deer of that caliper doesn't reduce the fun, doesn't reduce the excitement, or the appreciation of any future hunts or deer. And if anything, just a deeper appreciation for these animals. And when the next year rolls around, you just pick up, head out, and start another season. This has got to be the biggest deer I've ever killed in my life. Giant. Plus, even after you've taken the biggest deer that you could ever imagine shooting, there's always a chance, always a chance that you might find a bigger one. Well, we're uh, a week before our opener whitetail season here in Saskatchewan and uh, just on the way to check a stealth cam. We've been watching a, a deer we call the tri-beam buck. Um, showed up on the 8th of August and been missing for a whole month. He just showed up here a couple days ago again, so we're gonna go check it again. See if he's daylighting still. If he is, we're gonna set up the, the muddy blind and hopefully uh, within a week we can uh, start hunting him. The tri-beam buck, a new buck at a new spot just last year. He was impressive, had potential, but nothing you'd expect a year later to become truly world-class. But this year, Tribeam earned every bit of its Jurassic-themed name, a monster buck, a world-class typical frame, 
with extras. And that's the stealth camera Ryan was headed to check. Ryan pulled the card to check in the field on his laptop, and when going through photos, it's hard to miss this popping up. One of the biggest deer that you could imagine at the Monster Meal Mineral Block in good light regularly, and Ryan. Ryan would be glad that he brought a blind with him to get set up. Well, we just got the big muddy blind set up. Came in here today, checked the stealth cam, got the uh, monster meal topped up, and the big tri beam buck is back. He's been daylighting a little bit. Um, we're a week away from season. A little late for a setup, but uh, hopefully, when I get back from work and start hunting, he'll be uh, daylighting a little more regular, and uh, hopefully, you know, we get a shot at him. Giving the spot time to settle down when Ryan returns from work to check the stealth cam. The giant's right there, still a regular in daylight, and we were just days away from the season opener. This segment has been brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. String activated. Simple. Switch on accuracy and let it glow. Nocturnal Lighted Knox. This segment is brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. With the Mega Tribune Buck a regular on the stealth cam, the season was finally here and Ryan just had his final preparations to make before it was time to head out. How nervous of a walk that must be, heading in knowing that you're starting your hunt for the biggest deer that you've ever seen. All the thoughts floating around of what might go right, and what might go wrong. Well, it's day one, and uh, just got here, and we've got cows already on the next quarter over, messing around, so hopefully they don't screw up the hunt, but it's still early. We've got a... Uh, a giant in here that we call the tri beam buck. He's been daylighting in the last week and a half, two weeks. A little bit of daylight, a little bit of last light, so hopefully tonight he comes in and I get this done. Opening day. The giant on Ryan's stealth cam both two days before the season opener and just the day prior. Unfortunately, his first encounter would be with cattle. As evening goes, the wind picks up, and the deer begin to move. At sunset, this young buck arrives, nervous in the wind and the surrounding cattle. He decides not to stick around, putting a cap to Ryan's day one. Well, it's day two, and uh, the cows are back. <laughs> so, it's early again. We got uh, a few hours of daylight left here, so I'm hoping uh, a tri beam buck shows up here tonight. Today a bit calmer, and even with the cattle close by, the deer do move, including this doe watching back down the fence line. When more deer arrive, all watching down the fence line and then nervously begin to move off, Ryan suspects it's just more cows. But on just day two, 
Ryan was about to have a world-class encounter. He looks down the fence line and knows just what he sees. Cautiously to the far right is the tribeam giant. This segment is brought to you by Hoyman and the new no-slip H-grip on their full line of tools. Best in class tools for every application. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Body Suit. The Heater Body Suit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Body Suit, you stay warm or your money back. On just day two of Ryan's hunt, the giant tribeam buck had made an appearance, though seemingly excessively nervous. Ryan stays ready and tribeam starts to make his way to the shooting lane. Ryan's first in-person look at the colossal buck, but he's still hung up. And needing two more steps for a shot, the buck looks back and heartbreakingly decides to turn to leave. The toughest encounter anyone could imagine so close, and Tribeam doesn't return as darkness sets in. Well, it's day three and uh, we're back in the blind for the uh, Tribeam buck. He did come in last night, but he didn't make it all the way. Something made him nervous and he didn't want to come all the way in, so I had the Ozonics running. And uh, I think that saved me here, but we got uh, pretty good wind here tonight. It's not the best, but we'll make it work, so hopefully he comes in and gives me a shot. True to form, day three starts with cattle, several, ensuring no deer movement for the time being. As evening fades, the cattle disperse, and a nervous doe and fawn arrive. Watching back like the day previous, and though odds are slim, Ryan's going to be ready. And there to the right, steps out Tribeam. Not nervous tonight, he steps clear into Ryan's shooting lane. but the fawn moves in the way. And when the fawn moves clear, Ryan sees his window. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Be patient, taking a big mature buck takes time. They didn't get big and mature by being careless or making mistakes, and to take one means not doing the same. You often only see our success, the high fives, the 22 minute highlight reel of an entire season's work, ups and downs. And believe me, there are plenty of downs, plenty of blown hunts, and plenty of times that we've made mistakes and had to reset up now on a more educated deer. The key is to not rush these mature bucks. If things aren't right, stay out. Being in a stand on a bad night can put you further behind than just staying away. Wait for the conditions to be just right. Wait for the time to be just right and then strike. And that might take days, weeks, or even maybe more. But hunting that deer smart is gonna put you further ahead than being careless every single time. It's hard to not hunt a spot where you have a target buck, but remember the end goal, walking up to him in success, not watching him run away educated. On those days that you can't be in the stand, go scouting, go spotting. Just try to make forward progress every opportunity that you have. And use the tools that you can to be successful and help your odds. That will help you hunt a target buck harder, more often, without doing damage. That's why we always hunt with an Ozonics, even when we're sure the wind is just right, even when we're sure the setup is just right and that a deer can't go downwind. It's when we're really sure the mistakes happen. Tools like an Ozonics are like trump cards, get out of jail free cards. 
Your entire hunt's game plan might not be based around it, but it's a card in your back pocket that can and will save your bacon. Hunting that buck smart, being patient, and using the tools around you to help with your success, and also looking at that hunt as a marathon rather than a sprint, is going to fill your trophy room a lot more reliably than barging into a hunt using carelessness. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Furnaces, the ultimate wood heat, Black Eagle Arrows, advanced carbon technology, Block Archery Targets, the world's number one archery target, Tacticam, share your hunt, Wild Edge, the ultimate climbing system, Cyclops Lights, get out of the dark, and by Hawk and the new Hawk Down and Out Hybrid Blinds. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Bog. More than just a shooting rest. Bog, engineered for the unknown. Seeing more cattle than deer, and after an absolutely heartbreaking encounter the day previous, just at last light, this nervous doe and fawn look back. And there emerges the 200 plus inch tribeam buck. <sighs> tribeam just came in. Well, I just got back to the truck here and uh, did some looking for blood and actually found uh, probably about 12 inches of my arrow. Um, so we've got probably over half the arrow still in the deer, <coughs> but uh, very little blood, just pin drops off the start. We had blood at, you know, five yards, but it's uh, not enough to continue tonight so making the decision to have a sleepless night and uh, come back in the morning which is probably our best bet so seeing that it's a uh, marginal shot so hopefully we catch up with them in the morning it's a tough decision but always the right decision if there's ever any question and a sleepless night for ryan is right it's so important to stress that if you go in too early and push a marginally hit deer, it can be miles, it can be over, but normally if you don't push them, they won't go far. Right here. Oh, he's a big boy. This is a true giant. He's uh, a little bigger than uh, than we thought he was. Um, he only went 150 yards. We backed out last night. Good thing we did. We might have got him up and never seen him again. So glad it worked out. Third beam coming. He's even got a little hook sticker in there. Beautiful deer. Last year I said I killed the biggest deer of my life and I think I just repeated it again this year. Big boy. Pictures, you know, I got of him beginning of August and he went missing for a whole month. He showed up uh, a couple weeks ago and decided to uh, pop the blind up, get set up on him and he started daylighting. You know, I seen this deer two nights ago, came in, didn't give me a shot. It was driving me crazy, but decided to come in last night. He uh, finally came in at last light. I don't know how much bigger they can get, but hopefully they do for me. I'm tempted to congratulate Ryan on the deer of his lifetime. However, with his track record, anything could happen yet. What a beautiful and well-earned buck. It never ceases to amaze me how fortunate we are to be able to hunt these incredible deer, to have access to these deer woods, 
and to always remember to enjoy every moment in them because at any time, at any time, a story like this could be yours too. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment is brought to you by Wild Edge, makers of the ultimate climbing system, the stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the stepladder. To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, please contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all past and present episodes of Canadian Whitetail, as well as new original content, visit us on our YouTube and Carbon TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com.